everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm Deborah. If you're new here, welcome. Try to hang out for the goofy fun stuff. And if you've been here before, you know what to expect. Thank you for coming back and putting up with this. <laughs> putting up with things has been like the, the rule of my week this week. It has been busy. Um, lots of work. Oh my gosh. I have been working 12, 13 hour days every day, except for today. Today will only be an eight hour work day. Yes, today is Saturday. Um, tomorrow I will be off. And tomorrow, if, if you've not been here before, I tend to record most of my videos on the weekends. Occasionally I can get something, you know, up and running on a lunch break during the week. But that is the story of my life right now. It is all about overtime and adding more gray to these hairs. I'm just saying. It's been that kind of week, month, year, etc. Um, car news. It's still running, running fine. Running fine. No problems there. But my car has a sunroof. It is not a sunroof that was originally with the car, apparently, when it was brand new. And I bought it used with a bunch of miles on it. So it's not anything I added either. Well, <clears throat> It tends to droop and when you're driving you can hear the air through it and you know it just it's very loud in the car we just reach up pull the little shade back push it back up and close it it doesn't leak it just leaks air it doesn't leak water um, so as far as that goes no that really isn't a problem and we actually have it unhooked right now because if you'll check back and I don't even remember when it was um, earlier this year, we had to replace the whole fuse box thingamajig that's in the car, not the one that's under the hood. Um, and we just left that off because it was hooked up, um, to coin a phrase from my friend, Miss Lisa Ladybird, higgledy piggledy. I have such a hard time saying that. She made fun of me when I tried to say it the other day because those words just don't come out of this mouth in that way, you know. But anyhow, it was hooked up that way. So we left it unhooked and we can, you know, we can go and pay and have somebody fix it up. But the sunroof itself, I'm like, you know what? I didn't want a sunroof in my car. I got it with this car because the car became available. It wasn't something that I went out looking for. I don't like sun on my head. It gives me a headache. You know, do I look like I tan? No, anything you see on my face is either an age spot <laughs> or an eczema's problem. Because yes, that's another thing this week. Um, I have been having major skin issues. This is just a small portion that you can see here. And it's very rough and very itchy. Hey, at least right now it's not open and bleeding. This is good. But I have patches on the backs of my shoulders and right here, it's just, it's really annoying. And on my face. Yay! I mean, why can't we just have it in places where the clothes covered up, right? So, yeah, it tends to be right here, a little bit right here. It's just, I know, there are people that have it worse. And, yeah, that's something that I do say. But, however, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that it's not annoying to me. So, there you go. We all have a thing, you know. I just have a lot of things. Anyhow, let's get to the crafty bits. Um, and I say crafty bits because it's not all crochet this week. Although, it is still yarn involving. So there you go. Oh, oh, earlier this week, there was pucker butt. Pucker butt. Pucker butt. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's not a very long one, but it does involve me taste testing something by a company called pucker butt. I just love saying the word. It comes out much easier than higgledy piggledy. Pucker butt. Anyhow, enough of that. I didn't bring the rest of them in here because I do still have some more. And I'm the only one in the house that can eat them. So there you go. Um, so that I don't forget my temperature blanket this week. I am doing a temperature blanket in case you missed it. This is the beginning of the year. It starts with 22 for the year. Yes, my numbers are wonky. I've never tried top stitching on before. And it's just a thing. Oh my goodness. It looks like I have clipped something. I have to repair my one. Yeah, these first couple, they, they've had some surgeries and it didn't go well. Um, but the inner color on each one is the low temperature for the day. The outer color is the high temperature for the day. And they're joined in white. This is all in uh, 
Hobie Amigo yarn, which um, it's a three weight. I decided to do it in a DK because I wanted it to be lighter. And if you see, it's not terribly large. It's gonna, it's 19 squares across. It'll be 20 squares in length, and then there will be a border afterwards. But I have kept up with it. No, it's not all attached to this yet. What I do is, in case you're new here, every day, usually during a lunch break, but not on Saturdays, because Saturdays my lunch break is spent recording this video, um, I get my temperature right at my little book. I've got my hook in that little bag and everything. And when I start off, this uh, particular line of 19 has the number four on it. Looks better than my one, okay? I'm, I'm improving. And this is all through yesterday's crochet, which was the day before its temperature. It got a little warm. It's gonna be a little colder today. I stepped outside because the mail lady arrived with a box and I went, oh wow, it's cold out here. <laughs> I didn't know because I just didn't go outside but keeping up with it and then when I get to the end of the 19 that very same day right when I'm doing it I crochet it onto the rest I am determined to not get behind on my temperature blanket because I've never done one before and I've heard horror stories about people starting a temperature blanket or something and then it just becomes a big thing and for me this is a guarantee that I get my hook in some yarn at least a little bit every day because some days that's really all I get to do um but I do I love it and I've been having a little fun with this and I am using my Clover Amour five millimeter which is an H hook and I have found that these hooks despite them being too short for my hand I have really big hands I'm you know you can definitely tell that I am my parents kid okay even though I'm taller than them um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that, but I really like the way it feels. It's not squishy squishy, but it's not hard and it's got a little grip to it. So it doesn't slip out of my finger so easy because that is a problem as well. Neuropathy is fun y'all. Seriously. Okay. So there's the temperature blanket, which I am thrilled to pieces with. We toss that over there. And earlier this week I was working on a hat and now I can't remember where I put it. Um, and also coming up and this will actually be announced tomorrow, but I wanted to show you the yarn right now of what I have in mind to do with it. There's going to be a little collab going with some friends and I will make a separate video for it. It'll have its own little hashtag and I want you to participate as well. Um, there will be little prizes, um, once a month. It's not a mandatory strict thing. It's a do your own thing with a theme. And that's it. I will be hosting it in August. Um, the person hosting it this month is Miss Neva Manic Mama Musings. And if I remember, I'll stick her link up there. Um, she's also participating in Veda video every day in April, which I am not doing because I just know. Um, but April showers. I'll just give you a little hint on that for this month. Okay. Putting that over there. Now the non crochet part <laughs> does involve yarn. This is a red heart super saver jumbo pooling. One day I sent the hubby, he was, he had to go to Walmart and I sent him a message and I said, I need a skein of yarn. I want it to be some kind of variegated. I said, go to the, to the, uh, find red heart super saver. <laughs> or mainstay in their multicolors because that's what I wanted I said and I want you to pick it out so he picked out these colors because he said yeah looks like colors my sweetie would like and that's what he said and yeah he's right I really do like that I'm not sure exactly how it'll work out with what I'm doing but and don't mind the tea stain at the top of this paper there was tea spilled I have drawn out pieces that I need for a box I take a lot of different medicines and when you go to the doctor you're supposed to bring your medications with you even though they have it all on a list right there whatever plus I keep them corralled in a box I have a plastic canvas box let me pause it so I can show you the one that I have okay this is what I made years ago now we were really into Battlestar Galactica at the time the reboot that happened it's been it's been a minute now but it's you know the newer one not the one from the 70s 
and everything they had like papers and stuff they had like the corners cut to where they had a little angle at the top so that's what I did with this I thought it would be fun and it was problem is I take more medicines now than I did then they don't all fit in here so I'm making another one I'm making it larger because this one not only is it a little bit small from me grabbing it on the sides and just carrying about it started to rip and tear up I will probably use stitches some, somewhat like this again instead of the individual stitches like with each individual square of plastic canvas because it, it goes quicker okay but <clears throat> I'm still I still have to cut it out I have drawn out on my plastic canvas pieces that I need and I have labeled them that is one of the C pieces I tried using washi tape and realized that was not going to work very well that's another C piece um, this is an A piece you know you just draw on it because you're gonna cover it up with the yarn anyway and I'm not using any white precious yarn or anything so and a B piece and if you need to wipe off the lines like when you get to that part of the pattern use a little um, even though I'm using a sharpie you can use a little nail polish remover just just a little bit wipe it off and make sure you get a damp cloth and wipe it off afterwards and that way nothing affects your yarn nothing affects the structure it just is what it is and no there was no way with the size that I needed to put multiples of these pieces on one sheet so I'm gonna have a lot of little small pieces left over which is fine I actually have little heart shapes and stuff too but that is something that has to get done I'd like to get it done before my next doctor's appointment which is in like two weeks so that's probably not going to happen but we'll see we will see but yeah that's something else that needs to happen oh and I have started on the next square for the hashtag rock 2022 AU let me grab that because I forgot okay this week or this part of the month because we're doing it she she shows an album um, on the first and on the 15th of every month and we're doing this all year long I'm making squares that will end up being put together in like a stained glass blanket kind of a dealie um, this time it's not necessarily a specific album she just said disco and she showed the Saturday Night Fever album you know, with John Travolta doing his thing and the, the light up floor and all of that so I decided to take inspiration from the light up floor and I'm doing corner to corner so I'm not um I wasn't going to do all the designs and stuff there is sparkle yarn in this one I did bust out the sparkle yarn that is Karen Simply Soft Party um this is some just yarn from Dollar Tree I don't remember the name of the color this is some just yarn active also from Dollar Tree this red is some heat wave um, <laughs> it's just you know a mixture of yarns and I decided to stop and start weaving in ends so I have all of these taken care of and I have to do all of these because I don't like doing waiting till the complete end because y'all that's a lot of ends I could have carried my yarn but that was just it was too much I have a basket full of yarn here it's actually a little laundry basket with a bunch of yarn and I've got my crochet hook in there and everything because I need to work on this some more but I mean the crocheting part actually doesn't take that long doing corner to corner I'm on the decrease rows once I get the decrease rows done I do a round of half double crochet is that what I do no a round of singles and then a round of half doubles that's what I've been doing I remember I can always look at it in one of the other squares it's all good and I think when I do my row of singles I will do it with a sparkle yarn and then just do the half doubles like everything else is framed with the regular black yarn so there's that I know I'd worked on something else right I look around and I see my yarn and it's it's menacing and it's looking at me like you never mess with me anymore you don't we're going to send your damn it doll after you ah uh. <laughs> yes I have kind of lost my mind um, each one of these gray hairs that is a big group of gray of, of brain cells leaving saying we're done here we're done here we're done here and I got a lot I have got a lot so anyhow stick around there are some pictures at the end um, some of my plants I'm looking over at my tomato plants and yeah it's time to replant those suckers 
but it got cold again today so that's not gonna happen this weekend um, there's also pictures of some other things I have got a plant stand that I ordered that came in yesterday and it's not put together yet some assembly required and um, there's also the obligatory picture or two of Oscar so be sure and pay attention for that I know that Oscar is the one you really want to see you don't want to see this old lady right um, but he's not in here right now he's napping he is keeping my work computer company and hopefully not typing any rude emails to anybody they would know it's not really from me though because he can't spell he just can't he's tried but he doesn't spell well it's a shame really I could have him do my work hmm <laughs> thank you again for coming in I'd really love it if you hit that like button um, and leave me a comment down below share me out if you can if you're not subscribed do so and also if you don't have the bell turned on for all notifications ring that as well YouTube is really bad about not telling anybody anything we know this all they want to do is tell you you messed up you can't say those words and stuff like that so I appreciate you and uh, I'd love it if you came back and joined me for more of my craziness throughout the week <laughs> I'll see you very very soon bye y'all